Here's how you can calculate the best Black Friday deal. Let's say you really want to get these three Nintendo Switch games, and of course you want to get them at the cheapest price possible. At normal retail prices, they're about $60 each for a total of $180 without tax, but I refuse to pay full price, especially with Black Friday so close. Store A has a buy two, get one free deal. At store B, everything is 25% off. And finally, at store three, you get a $10 gift card for each $35 you spend. So pause this video here. Which one do you think has the best deal? If we were to buy the games from store A, you would have to pay for two full priced games and the third one is free. Since each game is $60, 60 times two is 120. That would be our total price for three games. If we were to buy from store B, everything is 25% off. What we can do is first add up the full price for three games, which is 60 times three, that's 180. Then to take 25% off of that total, there are two ways of doing it. You can calculate the discount first, which is 25% of 180. The other way of doing it, which I prefer, is directly calculating your cost. Since you're getting 25% off, that means you're actually paying for 75% of the total cost, right? So you can directly multiply the original total, 180, by 0.75 and get 135. So regardless of how you do it, store A is still so far the cheapest. Store C has the most annoying kind of sale where you get $10 towards your future purchases for each $35 you spend, which is how they get you to come back. Let's first calculate how much money you would get back. If we pay full price for three games at 180, let's see how many times 35 fits into 180, which is basically exactly what division is. Dividing 180 by 35, we'll get 5.14. That means we've spent $35 a little more than five times. And that means we'll get five $10 gift cards for a total of $50 back. That's not even enough for a new game. Basically, this is the same as buying three games and getting one almost free. So did you guess correctly earlier? Store A has the best deal. Now that I've made you do all this math, you can also approximate this in a couple minutes or even seconds with some mental math. For store A, since it's buy two, get one free, this pretty much means that the games are one third off, which is roughly 33% off because all three games cost the same. For store B, this is just 25% off. And for store C, if you get $10 for every 35, this means you get about 29% off. And it's delayed because you're not getting the discount right away. So in under a minute, you figured out that store A has the best deal. Math, right? Thanks for watching this video on Black Friday deals. Like and comment down below on what you're thinking about buying. And also share this video with anyone who needs to spend a little less this year. See you in the next video.